Hi everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial on what I do to get a custom URL using CloudFront on AWS. So what you want to do is log into your domain manager, so mine's GoDaddy, and find your DNS settings. And then you want to log into your AWS S3 account, and then you want to search certificates and open this up in a new tab, and CloudFront and open this up in a new tab. Once all these tabs are open, if we head back to the certificate page, click request a certificate, click next, and in here you want to type in star dot and then your domain name. So mine's star dot rawpixels dot co dot uk. Then you want to scroll down and click request. As you can see, I've already got mine already in here, but if we click view certificates in the top right hand corner, scroll down to C name and then Click on the little button to copy to clipboard. Then you want to head over to your domain management and click add. And click C name. Paste the C name into here. And delete the dot off the end. Then you want to go back to certificates and click the C, va C name value. Copy that to your clipboard. Then go back to your domain management. Paste this into here and again delete the dot. Click add record, then head back to your certificate page. Now we're waiting for the status to say issued. If you click the blue certificates on the top of the page to take it back to this page. So now we're waiting for this to say issued. Mine already says issued, but this can take up to 24 hours. So once this is issued, we want to head back to our S3 page and click into the bucket we're currently working on. Go to properties, scroll all the way down. So what we want to do is turn this into a static website. Click into there, click enable, type index.htm, and again in the error, index.htm. Scroll down, click save. Right, then you want to scroll up and go to permissions, scroll down, and we want to edit, edit the bucket policy. So I'm going to supply this text in the comments below. What you want to do is change these parts to your bucket name, and then we're going to change the origin access identity to, to your one. So to create one of these, click into your CloudFront tab. On the left hand side, you'll see security and it says origin access identity. You can see I've already got one in here. Uh, you're gonna click create new origin access identity. And then you're gonna chuck any old name in here. Voila. And then you're gonna copy that identity, the ID. Go back to your S3 page and paste that into here. So once you've created this, you don't need to change that. You can use this code for other buckets, but you just have to change the bucket name as we did earlier. Right, so now scroll down, click save, and then we're going to scroll up and we're going to go into properties. We're going to scroll all the way down. And we're going to copy just this part of the URL. Then we're going to go to CloudFront, create new distribution. We're going to paste that into here. We're going to scroll down to add uh, to redirect HTTP to HTTPS. Then we're going to carry on down to add C name. We're going to type the bucket name in there. Dot your domain name. Then we're going to scroll down to certificates and the certificate we created earlier should populate in here now. Just to note you only have to create one certificate once you've done that you can use this same certificate every time you create a new distribution. And then we're going to go down and click create distribution. Right you'll now see it on this page here and it should say deploying. So once this has deployed, we want to copy the domain name and just test this is working by dropping it into a new browser and making sure it works. Cool, that's all good. So just to clarify, we're going to copy that domain text, domain name text. And then we're going to go back to our domain manager and add a DNS C name record. So we're going to drop that copy that text into the value then we're gonna in the name 
we're going to put the, the bucket name and then we're going to add that as a record once that's done let's open up a new tab and try out the URL there we go